the sea of miracles shalom good people how are you this is veronica in today's video we are at the sea of galil and from the sea of galil we'll be traveling to Bethsaida Bethsaida is mentioned in the book of Mark as a place where Jesus healed that blind man the blind man Jesus spit on his eyes then he touched his eyes then he asked him, can you see? Then the man said that, yes, but I see people like trees. Then Jesus touched him the second time and he saw clearly. So, and also Bethsaida, it's mentioned as the hometown of Andrew peter and who else the disciples of jesus bethsaida the bible says that it was a desolate city or a desolate town it was a remote place and when you read the bible jesus fed a multitude fed four thousand before going to bethsaida and Bethsaida was one of the cities that Jesus cast Bethsaida, Chorazin and Capernaum so today we are touring Bethsaida from the Sea of Galilee and so guys enjoy the video and appreciate your time here <laughs> I'm so humbled and honored that you're always coming back you have subscribed to my channel i bless you as we tour holy lad the bible lad thank you old testament name for Bethsaida, gishual one of the wives of king david was from Geshua, the mother of absalom we are going for a boat ride at the sea of god eh? <laughs> you see how this the sea looks like this it's like a circle or a violin That's our handsome driver. Marita, <laughs> Sarana! <laughs> you know how to speak Tagalog? Ah, uh, you speak Tagalog. <laughs> I think I can see some fish. Or oh, should I put my nets to the deep? <laughs> oh look at the stones. Oh. Wow. Wow. I like that. The art.
tranquila, ven, no ven, tranquila. Now on our way to Bethsaida. Yes? Uh, <laughs> Pastor told you that we're going to Bethsaida. Yes. You know, it's my first time there. Corazin or Corazin, three cities that say Jesus cast. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Okay, let me pass. <laughs> Thank you. 
why this distance is 135. Ilan nga? 135! Excellent! <laughs> 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 May quiz kayo ba maya? Kapag puti kayo, ripan na bol yung inyong binayad. Oh, ayos yun na. Deal! <laughs> Deal! Okay, so 470, longest distance, 135 kilometers ang widest distance. All in all, mga kapatid, ang total land area ng Israel ay for uh, 22,245 square kilometers. Wait din natin. Sama ng tingin mo sa akin. <laughs> okay. 22,200 ay 22,145 square kilometers. Klaro? Ayun. Wait din natin. Ilan nga yung longest distance natin? 470. Why this distance? All, all in all square kilometers, ilan? Anong 2,000? 22,145. Bravo! 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 <laughs> During the entire public ministry ng Panginoong Isa Kristo, around 70% ng kanyang public ministry was spent here in Galilee.
So dito lang yan sa Lagwacherong Pastor. Sundan niyo ako sa Facebook page ko, Lagwacherong Pastor. Okay, Lagwacherong Pastor. Picturean nyo muna yan bago tayo mag maglakad. Sabi tayo maganda maganda. Kung ano lang ako manang nakadress ka. Kung ano lang ako Ako siya na kaya ako siya dito mo na. Do you want to explain first? Ano kaya ako? Dito mo na. Abang sa the village or city of Bitsaida. And uh, I would like to give you some uh, biblical text to to give you some uh, details or information regarding this uh, wonderful and amazing city of Bethsaida. So by the way, uh, first thing that you need to learn in the Old Testament time, this is known as Geshur, not Bethsaida. Geshur is the Old Testament name and in the New Testament time during the, the account of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is better known as Bethsaida. Now, how do we know that this is Geshur? So we can trace that back in first, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 3. 2 Samuel 3 and verse 3. So listen good, mga kapatid, sabi dito. And his second chariot, uh, let me begin in verse 1. Now, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David wax is stronger and stronger and the house of Saul wax weaker and weaker and weaker and unto David were sons born in Hebron and his firstborn was Amnon of Ahinoam the Jezreelites so alam niyo yung Jezreel Valley so that's the place of the first uh, uh, what is this uh, the matter of, of Amnon the first son of David and his second, Chiliab of Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. Yung dinaan natin kanina madaling araw pa, yung Carmel Mountain. And then thirdly, Absalom, the son of Maaka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. Mm -hmm. So this uh, city or village, this is very important. Especially in the time of King David, the great king of Israel. Why? Because one of his wives is the son of the king of this place. This is Geshur. And, and listen good mga kapatid. You know, the son of David and his daughter to the woman, to the daughter of the king of this place is Absalom. And Absalom is the most handsome man ever lived in the land of Israel. Mm. Sana all wow. have all <laughs> and what else? Another interesting, another interesting thing, okay? Since Absalom is so handsome, his sister, 
His sister is so beautiful that even Amnon, the first son of David, have a lustful desire to his half sister. Yeah. And yeah, so nagaroon ng drama. Okay, slika Veronica. Okay. okay. <laughs> so he, he has a friend, and they meet some tricks. And the friend of Amnon advised him, uh, you know, make some drama na uh, may sakit ka. And then after three days, you you ask your father David and request unto your father to send um, your sister to take good care of you, <laughs> to to cook uh, meat and cake for you. But they have a, a an evil plan. And what is that? To rape uh, yeah. Tamar. Yeah. The name of the the woman is Tamar. So Amnon raped Tamar, and then later on, fast forward tayo, uh, there, was, there was a great shame to Tamar, and Absalom was so silent. And he made a great plan how to avenge his sister. So later on, later on uh, um, Absalom made a feast for all the sons of David, and with this uh, feast, they put something to the wine of a of Amnon and uh, nahilo siya kaagad and nung mahilo na si Amnon they do the plan and they killed the murdered Amnon as a revenge for what he did to the sister of Absalom Absalom so Absalom is the the most handsome man in the land of Israel and we can say that her sister Tamar and we have Tamar here. <laughs> <laughs> she is so beautiful that's why Amnon lasted after he uh, after her so after na patayin ni Absalom si si Amnon anong ginawa niya? He went here in Geshur and he stayed here for almost three years until such time na humupa na yung yung anger yung galit ni David at nakabalik na doon si Absalom sa sa Jerusalem. And later on si Absalom Absalom gumawa ng pag-aakla sa kanyang ama. Gusto niyang i-overthrow si David and then nagaroon ng battle. Tumakas si Absalom sumabit sa isang sanga ng puno. And uh, yun yung naging cause ng kanyang kamatayan, plus yung sinibat siya ng isa sa mga soldiers ni David. So that's the story. That's the Old Testament story or significance of this narrative. So, I don't know when was the time the name was changed into Bitsaida. Okay? But Bitsaida means the house of hunter. Okay, what is that? Okay, it came from the two Hebrew word, uh, Beit, which means house. We are familiar with the word Beit. So it stands for house. And the word Saida, it, the root word is Eid, which means hunter. So basically, since this is very close to the Sea of Galilee, they are not the hunter of animals, but the hunter of fishes. So in other words, this is the house of the fisherman. Okay, so did you get the logic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from the word bit saida, bait house in saida from the root word saeed, which means a hunter. So connect these two words, you get the word house of a hunter, but basically not of wild animals, but of the fishes in the Sea of Galilee. So this is the village or the house of fishermen. And we can we can we, we can believe this uh this analogy because Simon Peter, Andrew, and Philip, this is the birthplace of the three distinct apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why if you're going to read the information there, you can uh, read that Philip, Andrew, and Philip, uh, Philip, Peter, and Andrew was born in this place. That's why there's a discovery somewhere in this area referring that this is the ancient house of Simon Peter and the Lord Jesus Christ lived in that house. Okay, now where's the text? That says uh, Simon Peter and uh, some of the apostles, the other two apostles live in this area. Okay, so let's go in in uh, Matthew, okay, in John chapter 1 verse 44. Verse 44, now Philip was of Bethsaida. Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. So these three disciples or apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ was born here in Bethsaida. This is their village. And they grew up in this village until they became a professional fisherman there in the Sea of Galilee. Until the time that the Lord Jesus Christ called them along the shores of the Sea of Galilee. So that's the story of this. Uh, three characters within the, the apostle circle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Another interesting story that I have in here in Bethsaida is the healing of a blind person. Where is that? In Mark chapter 8, verse 22 to 25, four verses lang, basahin natin. Mark chapter 8, verse 22. Okay. Are you still there, mga kapatid? Pinapairapan kasi ako ni Veronica. It's okay. Everybody is American here. <laughs> okay. Now listen to this. Another wonderful story that happened here in Bethsaida. Mark 8, 22 to 25. And he came to Bethsaida, and they, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. So, he po niya lang yung blind person ito. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw out. Nakita ninyo kung ano ginawa ng Panginoon sa Wisto. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house saying, Neither go into the town nor tell it to any in the town. Saida, for if the mighty works which, which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, this place are Gentile places, not Jewish or Israelite places. He said, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. What does it mean? Just Christ is saying, the Gentile people are more receptive to me than to you, my fellow countrymen. That's why Jesus is saying, if all the miracles that I did in your cities, in your villages, if I perform those miracles to the to Thai and Sidon, to the gentle nations, these people long ago they believe in me. At in this ano maranasan ng mga gentle nations na ito ang punishment and destruction of the Jews. And and there's another text na sinabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, if the miracles that he did in in Corazin, in Bethsaida, in Capernaum, kung doon niya ito gino, kung doon ito ginawa sa Sodom and Gomorrah, the gentle people in Sodom and Gomorrah would repent it. Ah. So that's the wall right up there. Okay. You can see this they have 45 walls. Yeah. Wow. 
Alright, so nandito na tayo sa main gate ng uh, 45 walls of its side. Ah. So si David, Team David, nakarating din siya dito. And according to the researchers, uh, there was a moment, long time ko na dito na naupo siya dito sa labas ng, ng gate niya doon. To, to hear and listen to the problems ng mga tao. Okay? So ito, meron tayong im ito yung imbakan lang ng pagkain sa mga lugar na ito okay yung mga kwan ito, imbakan dito ng pagkain para may idea lang kayo no so this is storage of their food stocks and then we have the high place okay this one is the high place alright so the old time time you're going to read the word high places when you read the uh, when you read the word high places, that is the sacrificial area, basically for the pagan worshippers. And that area is this, okay? So they are do they are making the offerings in this area. So this is the storage houses, and they're going to pick up some food down, and they're going to bring here for the offerings and the God. Dito sa area niyan, okay? So yeah. So the inhabitants of the king of Gishur were Arameans and the high places and ritual objects reflect their religion. On the sacrificial the high place were found fragments of basins, basins poured out altars and inside stone detecting cooking wood. Uh, by the way, meron sila na uncovered dito na ruins. Nandun sa picture kami na doon sa labas. Yung bull siya na parang mayroong tunga dito. Ang tawag doon sa dating ay God of Moon o Moon God. So, yung dab na pinitilangan nila dito ay yung This sure, in the Old Testament time, na doon naman yung Sea of Galilee Tanawin ninyo So, baka magtaka kayo Pastor, bakit parang ang layo naman ng Sea of Galilee? So, way back in the Old, old Testament time, mga kapatid Ako din sa mga nakaanda ng geography The water of Sea of Galilee ay mga kapatid na paano mga kapatid Na lang mm. na We can have a picnic here. Yes. You can come on Friday, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. The sea of Gary is there. Yes, we did a video about mud. Mud. Tiberius. Come we go here. Come, come we go and see something. Come we go and discover something. <laughs> Pastor Aristotle, that the water of Sea of Galilee is 
up to here. Yeah. So guys, we are in Bed Cider. <laughs> we are exploring the place. Yes, we want to see if we can find something new <laughs> apart from the usual. You can see? Mm -hmm. yes. And it's the mouth of the shoulder. Yes. Corazin from here. I don't know, but it's, it's around here. Wait, wait, first come, come and see. Come and see some. Yeah, wow. Yeah. But this is not a river. There, there it is. Yeah. This are just a... It's part of it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, come, come and see something here. Wow, and it's hot. Huh? So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. Thank you that you spend your time watching my videos. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please hit that red button. <laughs> and let's discover holy lads it's veronica i love you so much and this is his sister grace that's the wife of our pastor our tour guide <laughs> from oh, from bedside oh wow 
Wow. Yes. Bukan kas. Fisherman house. That one. Believe, uh, believe to be the fisherman house. House of Peter Andrew. Yes. Wow, it's hot. <laughs> what is life to a man who is without wine? It has been created to make men glad. I know I'm walking fast <laughs> because of our time. Um, the street was here. of the town of Bethsaida and don't confuse the pool of Bethsaida with the town of Bethsaida the pool of Bethsaida the pool of Bethsaida is in in Jerusalem wow Yes, it was bed cider. The cider. The miracle of loaves and fishes. The Bible records in Mark chapter 8 a miracle where Jesus fed, it's recorded, 4,000 4, men. 
and it's believed to be near that side. Ah, thank you guys, much love, appreciate you. Wow, you need to see how I'm sweating. <laughs> I'll not show you. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Okay, Jordan River on the right side, on the left side. It goes to the Sea of Galilee. So the water came from Hula Valley, going down here in the Sea of Galilee, and then it flows down to Jordan River. 